Hi, welcome back again to our lectures on internet marketing. Uh, before I get on with today's uh, topic, which is search engine marketing, I just want to recap on uh, where we started and how far we've gone. We started from e-business, looking at e-business, uh, moved very quickly to marketing. We looked at marketing mix, targeting our audience, audience profiling, and then we moved into communications, quickly into our specialization, which is internet communication. And now we are going to talk about search engine marketing. Now, very quickly, we move from a general concept within the e-business into an action, where, where you can take an action. Here is, once you have decided uh, on your audience, on uh, your marketing mix and your, what you're going to tell them, what's the profile of them. Now we're going to design our ads. We're going to put our ads and decide where the ad's going to go. Now, we start with search engine marketing. Now, as it suggests, is using search engines like Google for marketing purposes. Now, search engine marketing is about what we're going to do if just simple definition is, is you want to gain traffic. You want to gain visibility and hopefully traffic to your site using the search engines. There are two ways of doing that. One is by search engine optimization. We're going to look at it. And the other way is with search engine advertising, which, as it suggests, it costs you money. You're going to pay for it. Now, let's start with search engine optimization. Now, we all use search engines like Google. You're looking for something. You go in and you type uh, the most relevant sort of words, uh, as we refer to them, keywords, to find or to, uh, to give that information to the search engine so you can find the relevant site. And then the search engine goes and come back with a list of sites, and hopefully one of them is the suitable ones. Now, how does it work? The keywords are taken from the user. Some of these uh, uh, engines may keep a profile on their users. So, and then they go have indexed every site you can imagine. And then they find the best matching site with those keywords and bring them back. And they list it uh, on their search results. And what you hope that by optimizing your website, your site would be listed in the first page. It wouldn't be the first few probably if it's advertisers they, they, or sponsors would take those, but you want it to be in the first page. Now, the advantage is free. That's you know, it, the search engine does not charge you for doing that. Uh, but the problem is getting getting the search engine to find your website and bring it up. Uh, the other advantage is when you're doing your optimization, you have got by putting the right keywords, you would be. Uh, targeting the right audience. So you are targeting or bringing your website closer to your profiled customer, the one which you are looking for. Disadvantages. Uh, you need a specialized knowledge. It is not as easy as we discussed it. You know, there, there are things have to go on the, the site, on the pages of the site, and so on. Uh, you got very little control on how effective it is or how long would it take for it to work because it's up to the search engine uh, companies to pick up your, your website, index it, move it up and so on. So you have got very little control on that. So it's very difficult uh, if you are planning on search engine optimization and you've got a budget for it and your line manager asks you, okay, what's the return on it? What kind of traffic we're going to get? How long would it take? Well, it's very difficult to answer those questions because you don't have much control on it. The other problem is for you as a internet marketeer, your work is got very little visibility because uh, most of the thing you do is behind the page, is on the meta tags. And so if your boss asks you, what have you done today? It wouldn't be visible on the website. But the results of it would be by increased traffic. Now, we're going to come back to search engine optimization, such as how it's done and what it's about uh, a bit later on. But let's look at the search engine advertising. Now, as it suggests, you pay 
uh, to get that visibility and hopefully the traffic. The disadvantage of this method is the cost of it. Beside that, it doesn't have much of a disadvantage. The rest of it is all advantage. You've got full control, or very good control on obviously what is your ad text, which you would write it, and uh, what's the landing page of that ad text. If somebody click on it, you decide where it's going to go. Uh, the keywords which you attach to that AdWords for it to appear on the search engine is in your hand. Uh, you can decide on how much money you want to spend. We discussed earlier on in the previous talk about the, the costing of these kind of ads. We'll look at it again later on. You get very quick feedback. You can audit the results. You can then go back and fine tune it. Uh, you can work out the return on investment very quickly because you know I spent so much money. I got so many impressions, so many clicks, and so many led to sales. So, all those things which matters for the business is there, and you, you can get it. The two, the search engine marketing, the, the advertising and optimization works together. So you can increase the traffic earlier on with the spending your money while your search engine optimization is becoming effective and bringing the traffic to your site free of charge. Now, just moving in, when we talked about costing earlier on, uh, we're going to talk about keywords, landing pages, the relevance of keywords and landing pages and the ad text. Ad text is that little you know, amount of text which you are allowed to put as your advert for by the search engine. Now, there is a new terminology is called CTR, is click-through rate. Now, click-through rate is the number of clicks made on your ad and the number of impressions. So if your ad is shown to 100 people and five people clicked on it, your click-through rate is only 5%. Now, the idea is if your ad had the right keywords, relevant keywords, so it would have appeared to the searcher on the search engine which was looking for it, and your ad text was very relevant as well, that researcher, that person who's searching for that item would have clicked on it. So that click-through rate would go up as you have got these two very fine-tuned together. So the search engines like Google, they have got something they call it quality score. Now they, they calculate your quality score based on your click-through rate and also your keyword relevance to your ad text and the whole lot of these, their relevance to the landing page. So once the uh, client have found your ad, seen it, click on it, gone to the landing page, and stay on it. And they obviously few more uh, items which they don't tell you what they are, the search engine operators, which they would work all these out and they give you a score rate. Higher your score rate, lower bidding you need to put to get those uh, ads. So there is a reason. What is the search engine operators are saying that don't put rubbish there. Don't try to get just the traffic for the purpose of getting traffic. They don't like it. They reduce your scoring. Your uh, bidding costs would go up and it, it becomes the whole thing irrelevant. So, and also it's a good practice. You want the right people to come to your website, to the right page on the website, and hopefully they would uh, take the next action, whatever it is which you are desiring to happen, either selling something or uh, telling somebody about something, whatever it is you're looking for, you will achieve. Now, we're going to move to next item, which is your, your strategy on the whole keyword strategy, you can call it. Remember your website is made of obviously pages and pages with menus and sub-menus and so on. And behind these pages, whatever you see on the page, behind them there are these meta tags. These are special sort of textual information there which would tell the search engines and other internet robots about what's happening on the page. Now, 
if you think about it, you have got a definition of your website, obviously in a normal human language that this page is my home page, these are my services, under my services I've got all these different items and about us and how to find us and how to contact us. That's a normal website you know, which you have got. And you've got a site map for it. Now, when you submit your site to a search engine to look into it and index it and consider it for you know, bringing it up in the searches, uh, they, they, go and, you know, they go to your home page and they start indexing whatever is linked to your home page and they go page by page and you know, work out what it is. As part of search engine optimization, first you make sure you have a proper sitemap and you submit the sitemap to the search engine operator because there are lots of pages maybe on your site which is not linked to the home page and they can be missed. So first we start with a good sitemap, make sure your sitemap is well done and then submit the sitemap. Then, then we going to look at each page. Now, the, the search engine optimizers uh, search engine uh, robots, they come and look at the page and if you haven't put what we call meta tags, they try to pick up some information from your content and start tagging your content and identifying keywords, which can be hit and miss. You don't have a control on it. Now, now that's where we go a bit of a technology. Now, every page on your website would have a title page. And that can be the same as what appears on your page, or it may be different from what appears in the in page. We call them meta tag titles. The search engine uh, operators, the robots, come and read these meta tags. They are for your title, there is a meta tag. There is a meta tag for your description. Now, this is if you go to Google and you search for somewhere, it comes out and you see a few words written there underneath that address. That is picked up from the meta tag uh, for your description. And if it's empty, you haven't filled it in, it will try to pick up something from the context, content of the page. Then you got the meta tag keywords. Now, these are the, the words which you think it will define the content of that page in the best possible way. Now, they, these words may be in the text and may not be in the text. Maybe one form. I like, like let's say, I'm with a page, uh, uh, I'm addressing my students. And I refer to students on this page as learners. Well, learners is good terminology. We use that word for it. But my search engine optimizer would look at, okay, learner is good. But it can be students, it can be candidates, it can be applicants, it can be whatever. So they would put into that keyword meta tag students and any other terminology which is referred to it. So you may have a lot of information on your page, but it may not have all the uh, keywords. Maybe the, the, there are certain words which are used differently in different, like you say, exhibition in UK. And in America, there's a trade show. So if you have used exhibition on your, in your content, it's fine. But in your meta tag, you put trade shows. So the, 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 the indexing engines can find it and index it properly and put the right keyword for it. Now, you got your title sorted out. Your the descriptors are there. Your keywords, uh, meta tags are there. And then, obviously, the content. The, what is on the page is all you know, same as ever. The copywriters would hopefully write a, a very good copy on your page, which is defining and describing whatever is supposed to be there, the service you want to provide, and is engaging with your audience. Now, that content, the textual content there, and all these meta tags should be relevant to each other. If you try to trick it, these optimizer uh, searching uh, engines, they are looking at, at it to make it to make sure their audience are getting the right information. And if they think you are you know, some, doing some tricky things there, they would, argue, they would just ignore it. That is their job. That's their job is to make sure people cannot bypass uh, their sort of regulation and 
mentality. So don't just be true and do it right. Now, the relevance is there. You are, now, let, let's look at your going back to your entire website and your, you know, from your home page, which may, let's say we are in education. So our home page keyword is education. Uh, but, but education is a massive sort of field. I mean, there are billions or millions of institutions in there. So I'm not going to get a high ranking. Uh, I'm not going to keep up coming in the first page. But as we go through our site and we get to much more specific services we are delivering, let's say we've got service, uh, education, then I've got a section which say courses. So obviously this is a smaller sort of category. Then I say from courses I would go to a subject like computer animation, then that is really reduced. Now, if my keywords and meta tag are properly down, that page would get indexed and would come up a lot higher. Maybe my home page doesn't come in the first page, but once somebody is uh, searching for a, uh, let's say, computer animation course in London in the evenings, and I've put all that in my evening course, computer animation in London, then it will come up. I promise you it would be in the first page. If it's not uh, now, it very soon will come up to the first page because it's very specific. So your semantic network, which you're going to design to go on top of your uh, website, that's the, 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 the way you describe your uh, website in a language that the search engines can understand, it will bring it to that focus, focal point. So if you don't do these things, it wouldn't work. Now, there is this uh, concept called long tail concept, which is exactly the same. You start with a sort of very general category, which are millions of operators there. And as you move on to very specific, saying, I'm delivering, a, I don't know, a Italian language courses over weekends in Kent, then there would be very specific, probably only two people doing it, and you would be right on the top of the page or second on the page. So that's a long tail concept. So when you're doing your keywords, you have to think about it. Now, just closing down on the next item, search engine optimization is obviously your keywords and what we discussed earlier on and the meta tags and content of your pages. There is more. Actually, these are to do with the web links to your site and your web link to other sites. More of these you have, better it is. The search engines like it. Now, obviously, more link to your site is more important than the links you make to others because obviously you can make a lot of links to other people. But you, know, you have to induce them, excite others for whatever reason to link to your site because your services is good for their clients, because you are informative. Uh, beside you call them and say, look, you know, let's do exchange links. And we put our links, your links on our side, and you put our links on your side. And however, if you increase the relevant links, it will improve your uh, ranking on when the search engines are looking at uh, your sites. Now, the other part is the internal links, how helpful your website is. Now, internal links, you see it in a lot of it, like, you know, I'm on the page, I'm reading about a subject matter, and there are lots of other information there, which I can link it directly to the relevant page, make it easier for the user to move around on my website. That has got the effect as well, so it will move on the, uh, the ranking. Now, once you've done all this, make sure you submit your website to the search engines. So they, will, they will pick you up eventually, but I mean, if you submit it, it's better. Also, there are many other directories which they may be happy to take uh, your link on uh, and uh, put, put you on their directories. All these would help. Now, that was a quick one. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I see you over next talk. Bye.